Hey what's up guys my name is Saurav and this is my YouTube channel Data Science Novice. So if you are new to my YouTube channel please do like and subscribe your efforts are massively appreciated. In the last video we talked about word cloud and we created three word clouds. In this section we are going to build the actual model which will classify the fake news. But before fitting model we have to do some data transformation. And why? Because what we have is text data and machine learning algorithms only understand numerical data. So we have to transform this text data into a numerical format so that our machine learning algorithm can understand and can classify the given data. So let's do that. But before that we have to divide the data into train and test set. And to do that we import train test split method from sklearn.model selection. Next we split the text and category column into x and y variable respectively. So this train test split method gives four output and to store those four outputs we written our variable like this. So the first output will go into x train, second in x test and so on and so forth. This particular thing is called tuple unpacking in python. So talking about the argument taken by this function, so first it takes x and y that is feature and targets respectively so next is test size equals to 0.3 means we are keeping 30 percent of the data for testing our model and if you want to have the same split of data as mine keep the random state 42 so if you are confused about this block of code just run this cell and then print out the shape of x train x test y train y test this will give you a better understanding of what we are doing so let's run this cell. So now we are going to convert the text data into numerical format and then we are going to extract feature from the data. So here we are importing tf idf vectorizer from sklearn.feature selection and then fitting the tf idf vectorizer on our text data. So this block of code is doing all these things for us. So two things are happening here. First vectorization that is converting the text into numerical format and then we are extracting feature from the data using tf-idf algorithm that is term frequency inverse document frequency. So if you want to know about this algorithm I have provided the link into the description you can check out there because explaining this concept is not in the scope of this video but I will tell you what's happening right here. So let's talk about vectorization that how the text is converted into numerical format. So suppose we have only these two articles as of now. First is the earth is flat and that belongs to fake or one category. Second is the earth is not flat that belongs to true or zero category. So let's see what happens when we vectorize it. So here we have converted the text data into numerical format. So what's happening? We took all the unique words from the text data and assigned each word a column. So if the word is present in that document, we simply put 1. And if it's not there, we put 0. And that is how we convert text data into numerical format. In our case, all the words are present in both the documents except for word not. So that's why we see that in case of document 1, we have 0 in column not while one in case of document 2 that's telling us that not is not present in the document 1. Now scale this same idea to our actual problem because the matrix form will be so large that we cannot be able to display this that's why I take this small example so that I can explain you what's happening. So once our data is in this format it's time for us to apply the TF IDF algorithm to this data. So let's see what happens when we apply the TF IDF. So here we see that ones are converted to zeros. So what this algorithm did, it gave more emphasis to those words which are differentiating factor. In our case, the not word was the differentiating factor. Since not word was only present in one document, so that's why this algorithm gives some value to this word that is 0.3 while for other words they were present in both the document hence algorithm gave them zero value 
If you want to know the nitty gritty of this algorithm, then check out the description. I have provided some link. So let's head back to the Jupyter Notebook. So let's run this cell. Now let's check the variable. So one thing we notice that instead of returning data frame, it has returned something else. That is because after the vectorization, the data frame becomes so large that it has now 29,000 something rows and 95,228 columns. Okay, so now here we see something written as sparse matrix. That is telling us that after uh, our data frame contains lots of zeros. That is because after the vectorization, we apply TF-IDF algorithm. So next we are going to build a SVM classifier and to do that we import linear SVC that is linear support vector classifier. Then we instantiate that classifier and storing it into CLF variable. Then we fit the model by calling fit method and passing converted text data that is x train uh, underscore tf idf and the category it belongs to that is y train. So let's run this cell. So here we have trained the model and now we will test it on the test data. But the problem is that we only transformed our train data and not the test data. Now we have to do the same transformation that is vectorization and tf idf on the test data as well. The, and that is quite repetitive and time consuming. So to save the time, we have pipelines. So in pipelines, we have to feed a sequence of event and those event will be performed on data automatically. So we import pipeline from sklearn module. In the next line, we instantiate the pipeline and passing whatever we want as a tuple in a list. So in our case, First, we want to perform the data transformation. That's why we instantiate TF IDF vectorizer. And then we want to fit linear support vector classifier. In the next line, we fit or train the pipeline by calling fit method. And this time we are going to pass untransformed data that is X train and our label that is Y train. So let's run this cell. And this may take some time because it's performing the data transformation as well as fitting the model. So here we have built the pipeline. Now we only have to test it on the test data. We don't have to worry about the transforming the test data because this pipeline will do it automatically. So to predict the classes, we call the predict method of our model and storing those prediction in a variable name called prediction so that we can compare them with the default values. So now we will evaluate our predictions. That is how well our model performed on the unseen data. And to do that, we will use different metrics. So we import metric from sklearn module. So the first thing we are going to do is to print classification report. And to do that, we print metric dot classification report and we uh, pass actual values and the predictions. So let's run this cell. And here we see that we are able to get an accuracy of 99% something. And not only that, our precision, recall and F1 scores are 99%. If you don't know about precision, recall and F1 score, I have provided the link in the description. Go ahead and check it. So basically it's telling us that our model is quite good with both type of classification. So whether it's fake news or true news, it's, it's able to classify them with great accuracy. So next we are going to print the accuracy score. And to do that, we call accuracy from matrix and passing the prediction and actual values. So here we see that we have an accuracy of 99.329. That is 99% we are able to classify the news correctly, which is very good. Next, we are going to build a confusion matrix. And to do that, we call confusion matrix and pass the data. So here we see that 51 and 47 represent the number of misclassified news and 7000 and 7511 are the correctly classified news. And with this our project comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed this project and if you found this series useful please do like and subscribe and share with your friend. Till then bye see you in the next project.